today we'll also have a small hint about the difference between the GWP good warehousing practices and uh, good agricultural practices or good handling practices GAP or GHP we'll have a small hint about the both of these uh, terms okay let's go with the GWP or good warehousing practices it's used to ensure that the external protection of the stores and warehouses against rain and pest even the insects reptiles rodents and birds and dust are controlled also ensuring the appropriate temperature for each product and raw material make sure no storage is attached to the wall and leave at least as from 30 to 40 centimeters of space between any pallet of the finished product or raw material between it and, and the wall. Also, the GWP are ensuring that the rule is applied first to be dispersed first, as we mentioned it by FIFO, first in, first out. The GWP also helps us to check the expiry date, storage period, and the quantities by inventory check, especially the especially the on hold product, and also the point about the evaluation of the effectiveness of training of the team on the GWP or the good warehousing practice. Now let's have a small hint also about the GAP or GHP which uh, stands for good agricultural practices and good handling practices it helps us to ensure that the bacterial contamination is not transferred to fruits and vegetables by ensuring the use of high quality compost and water at all stages of production the GAP and GA HP ensures that all of the distributors, exporters, importers, retailers, and food product transporters, which have a role in the agricultural chain by respecting and following all the instruction of the GAP and GHP, also ensuring that all the aspects of agricultural production in the field or in the greenhouses or in the barn are ensured by selecting crops, seeds, irrigation, fertilization, pest control, disease disposal, manure, harvesting, and subsequent handling, all these aspects of the ag agricultural products, production, sorry, must be controlled by the uh, elements and by the ensuring factors from the GAP and GHP and also the evaluation of the effectiveness of the training of the team and all the stuff of all the GAP and GHP requirements good luck for all and thank you all for your support and thank you all for your sharing and we are waiting for all your feedback uh, feedback and all what you need from simply for the to uh, explain again and again if you like the content don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video and thank you for you all of you and good luck for all goodbye also have a small hint about the difference between the GDAP